I'm Mike with Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Project 5 Extreme by 724 Bagger Company. For those of you who've been following my channel, you may remember that I did a review of the regular Project 5s a while ago. This is the Extreme version, and I'll get into the differences between the regular and Extreme as I break this bag down and help you decide which one may be the best for you if you're looking to buy a set of these bags. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's break these Project 5 Extremes down. We'll start with materials. Slow side, it's a hybrid material. It's the same slow side material you find on the Ultra Viper R, the Lucky Pro Sniper Elites, Reynolds Thunder, AAR Ripper, the True Cornhole Aftershock, the Killer Bees Armite, the Swagbacks Chaos. It's it's one of the more popular hybrid materials out there. It's a wonderful material. It's very hole friendly for the control you get with it. It's very forgiving, very player friendly. A wonderful slow side material. It's one of my favorite slow side materials. I'm really I really throw a lot more of these hybrid materials just because of the versatility you get with them. I throw a lot of them. If you watch my Thursday what's in my bag segment you see a ton of bags that have a hybrid material this material is kind of one of my favorites out of that group i call it a it's, it's, a, it's a five speed but it's a faster five probably a five and a half is a better speed rating for it so five and a half speed on the slow side here fast side this is that same fast side you find on the game changer the lucky surefires it's an eight and a half speed material it's fast it's great for push and collect and you know, cleaning up messes, sliding boards in any condition. So five and a half, eight and a half on these Project 5 Extremes. Template wise, this is the difference between the Extreme and the, and the regular is the template. The material is the same. I think the fill is the same. It's just a little bit different. I think a different amount of fill and a template. This is a medium template bag. So the Extreme is a smaller template than the regular, but it is not a small template bag, if that makes sense. The, the regular Project 5 was a larger template bag. In fact, that was one of my gripes I had with the bag. I just didn't like how big that bag was. This is a medium, more of a normal, quote unquote, normal template bag on the extreme. I really love this template size better. Now, if you like the Viper R, you kind of like those larger, floppy, sloppy bags, you'll probably like the regular extreme. If you like more of like that, um, the, the Swagbikes Chaos or maybe the Underworld Clone or kind of more the, the, the Dragonbikes Power Dragon, these more of these medium normal template bags you're going to like this extreme better so medium template on this bag it's got a medium to fuller amount of fill so it's not a full bag but it's on the fuller side of medium if that makes sense now these two materials are very loose very pliable they stretch so you're going to have flop any bag that has these materials is going to have flop so the bag has flop to it it is not a loose bag it is not a floppy bag i said it's still kind of on that fuller side of medium for the amount of fill in here so when you go to grab it you got a nice hand feel you can lock the bag down there's no there's no flop there's no slop to it i'd lock it down nicely so you have a ton of control over the bag the fill in here is i think it's a hundred percent flat fill i don't feel any flat discs in here i don't feel any round beads that i can tell fill is always the toughest for me because i don't open these bags up so i don't know i'm trying to go by what i feel and sometimes there could be a small amount it could be a blend or a mix of a small amount of beads or something or the flat disc and it kind of hides it i don't i can't tell but it feels like different sizes of the flat fill now the fill these bag companies use for their cornhole bags is not designed for cornhole bags it's not made for it. it's, it's 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 made for other things and the consistency isn't always exactly the same so sometimes you can get different batches that are different sometimes you can get a, the same batch and have a little bit of, of variations in the type of fill here so i can't tell if it's if it's just the variation in the fill it's just 100 percent of this flat fill or if it or if 724 actually did a little bit of a blend of some different sizes different weights but either way i think it's mostly about 100 of that thicker flat fill in there but because it has those different sizes and shapes it gives it more of a mixed fill feeling to it mixed fill playability to it and, and and i didn't really i don't really have an issue with it because these two materials are so whole friendly i don't have an issue with more of the flat fill it gives the bag a ton of forgiveness to it so it's a bag that if you don't throw a flat bag it doesn't have a lot of kick part of that is because this slow side material doesn't really kick a lot to it and you put more of a flat fill more of a less active less bouncy fill in here the bag lands fairly soft very little kick to it slides of the board uh, around the hole both these materials are very hole friendly one of my gripes of flat fill is it's not that hole friendly bags tend to hang on the hole but because the materials are pretty hole friendly themselves i didn't have a problem with it and if a bag does hang because they're kind of on that fuller side very collectible around the hole so i don't really have an issue with it i think the the playability of the bag is is great in the template size the amount of fill the type of fill that 724 used i have no issues with that whatsoever these bags are also acl stamped so if you play an acl event you can throw the project five extremes now let's jump in and talk about playability on this and these bags they're very versatile if you want to get in there and just run bags in the hole put your four bags in now score your opponent you can definitely do it like i said this this fast side this hybrid gel plays a little bit on the faster side for these hybrid materials at five and 
and have his speed. Very hole friendly, easy to run bags with. But if you like to play control and like to throw blockers and stuff, you can also play a dirty style game with this and throw blockers up there, cause a lot of chaos, create a lot of havoc on the board. You can definitely do that. There's a ton of control with this material. And because the bags are as full as they are, you can really get aggressive and put that blocker more at your opponent's side because you know when it comes time to collect, you know, if you're going to probably collect the last bag, you go on slick side, come down. You're, you're just clipping a corner. They're not They're not going to accordion up. So they're not super floppy. You're clipping a corner. You're pushing it. You can take both bags in. You can even leave the bag a little lower, like a level two, level three blocker. you got plenty of speed on this fast side to push it and ride it all the way up. Enough speed to push your multiple bags. If you want to plug, throw, you know, two or three blockers up there and then come at the end and collect, no problem with that. The one thing I would say if you're trying to collect multiple bags, just be aware of is because these bags are kind of on that fuller side, there is a chance of the bags kind of bunching or clogging because they don't have enough flop to really fold up and drip in, you know, three bags, four bags at a time. However, you know, if you're playing, if you're if you're in a round and you're head on around, you know, maybe you got a bag in, your opponent doesn't, a clog is, is is advantageous to you, so you can play that to your advantage. I had no problem with that. If I was trying to collect two bags, as long as they weren't side by side. The issue I had when bags were side by side, and this is what you had, it's not just this bag, any bag is kind of on that fuller side. When you have side by side bags and you throw a bag down the middle to collect to collect them all. A lot of times that middle bag comes and wedges in and those three bags just wedge and they won't drop in. That was the only time I had an issue. If the bags were kind of offset a little bit or I was trying to pick off from the side and push through, no problem whatsoever. And, and, and I just, I'm saying that to nitpick. I don't really recall, but maybe a time or two where that was an issue. And I've thrown these bags hundreds of rounds with these bags and, and, and I only recall a time or two where that, that was an issue. So I just said to be aware of it. It's more of a thing that you're going to get with fuller bags, but that's a trade-off. When you get the fuller bags, you gain a ton of control. You got to give up a few things on there. And now speaking of control, these bags do excel in that shot shaping game, cuts, rolls, flops. I think you can really, like I had no problem throwing cuts to these bags. Now, because this material is a little more forgiving, it doesn't have a bouncy active fill in there you got to exaggerate be a little more a little more uh, intentional on the on the tilt on the bag right get the tilt you can't do a slight tilt you got to get a little more aggressive with that tilt to really get the bag to cut same with the flops and rolls you know that back load for those rolls that front load for the flop exaggerate that enough you're going to get those rolls and flops with it i had no problem with it honestly for the for throwing my cuts for for watch with throw rolls with it no problem whatsoever it's definitely a bag you can shape shots which gives you the options when you throw blockers up there of ways to get around the bag you know you you can throw your blocker up there in the, kind of in the middle over your post side you can step out through your cuts you can roll over flop or what do you want to do and then at the, at the end last bag your opponent hasn't pushed in already come down clip it and take it through also if you're playing against an opponent who does throw blockers and maybe you don't want to play that dirty style game with them it gives you the options with the cuts rolls and flops to get around their bag leave their bag there make them collect it so these project five streams give you a ton of options that leads me to availability, and 724 Bagger Company has a website. It's 724bagger.com. Link down in the description for you guys. As always, these bags, when I went to record, I went to look. These bags retail for $115, but they had quite a few different designs and colorways available on the website as of the recording of this, and several of them were on sale for $99.99, so $100 for a set. $10 shipping, so $110 to $125 for a set of bags. That's probably my biggest hesitation to recommend this bag is that price point. Not the most expensive, but it's on the higher price point in. So if you can find a set, a used set, maybe trade for a set, I uh, highly recommend, yeah, go get them. You, I think you're going to love them. If you're looking to buy them, uh, maybe get your hands on a set, try them out, just to be sure you like them before you go fork over that much money. Outside of the price point, definitely recommend them. That's just my one hesitation I have on that. But again, 724bagger.com if you're looking to buy a set. If you throw in the Project 5 Extremes, I'd love to hear your feedback, especially if you throw in the regulars and the extremes. Love to hear your opinions on the two and which ones you like better and why. Drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. I thank you guys so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.